Hey there, how's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. So, today I have had a realisation that throughout this week, I have been answering the door with different coloured socks on. Yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. So today, I have this, and you might be thinking, deja vu? No, not deja vu, this is actually the speaker from the opposite side. The previous speaker was from the right side, and this is from the left. Now this speaker is completely unopened and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to take off this entire front panel on camera because I think I might know how to do it. And if you haven't seen the previous video, check it out if you haven't seen it already because you might want to watch that before watching this or you could just watch this. Um, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do is fine by me. So you might be wondering why I wanted to take this off so desperately. Well, in order to gain access to this speaker there, I need to be able to take this front panel off. The speakers are actually housed in separate compartments. So this top half is completely blocked off from the bottom half. And what I want to do is gain access to them to try to improve the sound quality somehow. So, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, meaning it seems like I've had this day before. Electric, you're wondering? Yes, check this out. Cyborg. Screw number two. Screw number three. Screw number four. Electric. This comes off. I said this comes off. But I could so. Plastic. Take these screws off. And then there are screws right here. Now, I could do with cleaning this dust. So I think I might just do that. Okay, so that 20 year old dust has been sorted out. Take these out. And then this should come out like that. More beautiful plastic. And there we have the tweeters, one here and one there. We want to try to take this front panel off now. And how are we going to do that? Right, so! Hiya! Hammer. Okay, no luck just yet. Maybe I should take this off first. Won't hurt, might make a difference. So, check out my electric... Um, simples. Okay, well, that's off. And let's get back to this. Ah, you see, now it's coming off. Cheeky bastard. There we go, indeed. So I think what I need to do is disconnect those tweeters and put this away. And there we go, we have the tweeters, and they are exactly the same as the other ones, except they are the other way around. So I'm just going to disconnect these wires, and um, I think these two can come off. Yes. And the next one, no. And there we have it, they're off. And I think it's finally off now. That right, was well, some weird latex looking sticky stuff. Totally didn't even notice the dust. Check that out. Some people were saying that there's some sort of a rubber rot. But no, it's just dust and probably some liquid that's been spilt on it. Okay, there we go. I've given this a bit of a clean now. And that is what it looks like. Now what I think I might do is maybe replace this with that. Okay, so this is just a quick message to the editing version of me. We've passed somewhere now, more or less. And well, it's just gonna start getting darker and darker from now on. So please buy some lighting. So what I'm gonna do now is take these two out because I need to take these out in order to make the modification that I'm gonna make to this. Okay, so the speakers are out. 
and let's get a bit of light shone in there. So in the top we have the wiring, which has something inside of it, some type of capacitor. And in the back we have material and something that looks like the inside of a toilet roll. And there's also a few spider webs lying around. So at the bottom we have some empty space and then the rear chamber, which also has some material at the back. And I think there's some spider webs in that too. And not only that, but there's also something stuck to the edge at the top and at the bottom, some sort of tissue paper. And here we have the speakers. This was the bottom one and this was the top one. Also, if you're interested in seeing the video on this, then go here. Let's see what the magnets look like. That one we've seen before. And this one is like that. Sony Indonesia. Indonesia. Hmm. Isn't that where all those floods happen? Tsunamis? And here we have a side profile. Okay, so I've cleaned the insides of these now. And I've just seen the nastiest thing ever. Well, I was vacuuming the insides of these. And on the vacuum cleaner, there's a brushed attachment. That thing that was in the corner kind of got stuck in the brush. So I took the brush out and had a look at it. And there were some spider legs about that, about from here. See that indent to about here. That sort of length. And there were two legs just stuck in the brush. Exciting, I wish I'd got it on camera, but um, I haven't. Anyway, I think it's time for me to move on to the next step. Do you remember this? If you don't remember this, then you're missing out on something. So check that out. Now, if you know anything about speakers, there's one thing you'll know that they almost all have in common. Well, they all have something like this inside them. I don't want to put too much of that in this. We'll see how it goes. Originally, I wasn't too sure about doing this, but I was curious and so I'm going to do it and see how it turns out. Pretty sure Peanut would like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the insides and just basically stick chunks here and there. Okay, so what I'm quickly going to do is use some of this and stuff this rear port just a little bit so that we don't get any spray going through that and onto the wall. Now I'm going to put this inside. Also, the window's open. Okay, so that's the top of it done. And it's looking a little patchy inside, but that doesn't matter because something is better than nothing. And the far end on the bottom is completely done. I've just started on the front and I'll show you how I do it. What I'm doing is I'm spraying the glue on and then I get a chunk of this and then I sort of like massage it on until it sticks. Okay, now that we've put this in, how do we stop it all from flying around with the base? Now, what does this stuff look like to you? Kind of looks like hair. Now, one way you can sort this out is with some hairspray. But what I'm going to use is this. Okay, so somebody's house alarm is going off. Um, so this should work in a similar fashion to hairspray. Hey there, how's it going? Bright and early the, blah, blah, bright and early the next morning and it's time to sort this out. So in the previous video, we were going to put these speakers back in and put the rest of it back together and then compare it against the original speaker. Bright and early in the morning, by the way. Actually, it's half past 11. Cup of tea. I am an amazing husband. Even though I don't wear a wedding ring, my wife, my wife, knows what I think about marriage. So, wedding ring or no wedding ring, it does not matter. This is for the tweeters, so that goes there somewhere. Okay, we'll put this speaker in first. Raika so. And this one in next. Raika so. That will go there. I think these are facing upwards. Let me check the original speaker. It is. The original speaker is right outside this door. Now, which of these screws were for the top? I think these were the screws for the speaker at the top. So far, there's a completely different set of screws for each thing. This has its own, this has its own. Also, say hello to my electric screwdriver. Place the screw into its hole, then you start to screw. Right, uh, so. And I'm gonna do that for the rest of these screws. Right, uh, so, you lacist.
Now it's time to mount this beaker and this is going to go all the way inside. Could you imagine what it would be like if I got a bigger speaker and just mounted it there? That would be interesting. Connect one and two. Right, so. Now it's just a matter of trying to find where the holes were because I can no longer see them. Ah, found one. By the way, I call that a cup of tea. It's not just tea, there's coffee in there as well. So um, I call it toffee. Ah. Now the speakers are in, I've got to connect the front of it. So here we have the front of it, and that is what houses the tweeters. So I'm going to go like this and connect the tweeters. Right, so. And then basically just put it back on like this. And there we have it. It's all back together. Now I'm just going to put these bits on and we can compare this to the original speaker. Drums and guns. Okay. 